Okay, um, one of the things that the tour in the beginning of Hilchas Rosh Hashanah brought about, um, it started, like we said already in the previous shiurim and the halachas of Rosh Chodesh Elul. Um, so one, one of the psukim we brought is from Amois Gimel, in Itoka Shoifor Be'ir Ve'omlo Yecherodu, then some other uh, poskim they bring the posuk Arya Shoag Milo Yira. It's both a few psukim apart in Amois Gimel. Arya Shoag, if the line would roar, who would not be uh, scared? So the um, Rabbeinu Avram Azula is a commentary on the Levush. He says that if you look in the word Arya, it stands Aleph stands for Elul, Reish stands for Rosh Hashanah. Yud stands for Yom Kippur, Hey for Rosh Hashanah Rabbah. He says, Arya Yishad, means those days are coming, the days are screaming. Elul, uh, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah Rabbah, that's all one package of, of, of Yemei, Yemei Din, Milo Yiro, everybody who, who would not wake up, anybody that has, is still alive, he should wake up. So that's what it means, those days coming to awaken us. So I want to say that I want to bring some a Sefer Ilona Dechaya, a very, very important thing for those days. Uh, uh, he brings an apostle and Pashas Vaischanan. The, the Moshe Rabbein, when he dove into Hashem to go to Eretz Yisroel, it says over there, Moshe Rabbein says, Ebrono ve'eres oret I want to go to Eretz Yisroel to see the, the Holy Land. So there's a medrash. The medrash says, Ato oiches achevel b'shnei roshin. You're holding the string from both ends. He said, as Hashem told you, that's what the medrash says, im ebrono, if you daven to go to Eretz Yisrael, ebrono, en kan slachno. Then there's no forgiveness then. Im slachno, Moshe Rabbeinu daven slachno, lo over no mazeh, after cheto egel. Im slachno, en he ebrono. One of the two, you cannot have both. You cannot say both, Ebrono, Slachno, one, choose one. So the, the, in, in, in Sefer Ilana, the Chai, he questioned this word, Hashem cannot give both. He's, a, he's so frugal, he could take both. Give him Slachno, give him Ebrono. What, what kind of business is this? So, so one of the explanations, that's how he explained this posuk. He says there's two people have, in Avodah Hashem, they have two, basically, generally, two approaches. Some people, their approach to avoid the Sashem, he brings the extreme uh, of the the the, 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 the story from the Badichev Rebbe. He says, Badichev Rebbe, on the first day of Sukkot, the whole night, he couldn't sleep. He was waiting that the next morning, early morning, I'm going to do the mitzvah of Arba Minim. So he couldn't sleep the whole night. And the same story they say about the, 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 the after, after Yom Tov Sukkot, the... the uh, the, the, he couldn't sleep the Motsoy, the last Motsoy Yom Tov, because he was waiting for to put fill in. He didn't put fill in so many days. He, so there's some people, they're waiting to do the mitzvah, they're happy to do the mitzvah, and the mamish into enthusiastic to do the mitzvah. That's one group. Okay, well, maybe we're not on that level, the Badichev Rebbe, not to sleep the whole night, but some people are happy to do mitzvahs. They, they. Some people, the way they do the mitzvahs, they do it just to get it out of the way. He has a mitzvah, he needs to, to fill in, you have to put it quickly, get it out of the way, he needs a daven, get the davening out of the way because I need to go to work, and, and so on and so forth. Everything is just, they do it, they do, they both do the mitzvahs, but the whole approach, how you approach it, is completely different. One doing it from a big ahava, ahava Hashem, he love to Hashem, and one doing it just, I have to do it, so I need to do it, sometimes get it out of the way. Okay, so he says, comes to those days, we have also two people with two different approaches. Some people, they do those days of tshuva that's brought in poskim. It's not just from Sifra Adrush. In poskim, the, the days, Mesogolim, the tshuva, Elul. So they do it with love. They, they want to come close to Hashem. If in case during the year they get farther away from Him, they want to come close to Him. They want to do Hidr Mitzvahs. But some people, the approach is in those days, <laughs> Yom Minaroi, with scary days, Yom Adin coming, <coughs> so they want to say, okay, I'll become better just because I'm scared of this uh, Yom Neroim, but they say, Ebrono. They say, they say, that Phil of Moshe Rabbeinu, they say on their own, now Avedo Hashem during Elul. What's Ebrono? From the Moshe Elul, all the way, 
until the end of Shana Rabba, that's why I call it Shana Rabba, that's Nun Aleph Yoim, 51 days, from Rosh Chedesh all the way to the end of Shana Rabba. So they say, they say, Ebrono, I just want to go to this Nun Aleph days, just go through them peacefully, I, I'll, do, I'll be a good boy. Then, I'll go back to my land, to where I belonged to, to before these days. I go back to business as usual. He says, if that's the case, Hashem says, that's how you approach those days. I just want to go through the days, and then I go back, I'll go back to my own in Yonim Artsim, in Yonim Gashmim, like I was before, then end slachno. You should know that Hashem says, I'm not forgiving you. This whole day, it's about slicha or mechila. I'm not forgiving you because you're not, your, your slicha or mechila, it's not, you're not really asking sincerely. They bring from Chidisha Arim. What's tshuva? Tshuva is shinui amaisin. I'm, I'm changing now. I'm not the same person who did ever. I'm a new person. I'm changing. But it says called shinui. Any shin that goes back to the original where it was, and a shinui. It's not shinui then. If the tshuva is just, uh, I'm, I'm like fooling God or fooling myself, but I'm going to go back after the 51 days to whatever I was doing before, then it's not tshuva, it's not shinui. Shinui, uh, says, and slachno. So that's what bad. He says, im slachno, if you want a real slicho, and ebrono. Don't, don't do it just for the 51 days. Yeah, you're doing more mitzvahs for 51 days. You, you, you close with the shem, but the idea is to continue the best you can after the 51 days day. That's why im and slachno. Im yesh slachno and ebrono. So you can't do this just to get it out of the way. You have to live those days. You have to be happy with the days. You're coming closer to Hashem. And, and I just want to end with the word of the Mittal Rebbe. The Mittal Rebbe says, if a real Baal Tshuva, a lot of times you see them, they, they're very uh, bitter or sad. He said, if there's no element of Simcha in the Rebbe, it's Hashem, it's not Tshuva Amitis. It's not true Tshuva. Why? Because what the Tshuva is, a real Tshuva, I want to get away from my clippers and Sitra Akhra, where I was, I want to come close to Hashem. So the more through Tshuva you're coming close to Him, you have to be happy that I'm coming close to Hashem. If you're not happy, it shows the whole Tshuva, it's not Amos Tshuva. You're not, so you have to be happy with those days. I'm happy to do Tshuva, I'm happy to come close to Hashem. Then, Im, Slachno, and Ebrono, then it's not only for the 51 days, I want to come, become a new person.